Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 18th of 2023. Well, it is titled Dust and the Western Veil vale Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a part of what is called the Veil vale Nebula, a supernova remnant. And it's not the entire nebula. The entire nebula is about six times the diameter of our full moon. So it's a very large but very faint nebula. And it is actually a supernova remnant where a star would have been seen to explode about 15,000 years ago. Uh, we would have seen a bright star in the constellation of Cygnus that would have become the third brightest object in the sky brighter than even Venus, which is very bright as the morning and evening star at various times of year. So when a supernova explodes, if it's close enough, it can be an incredibly bright thing to see in the sky. However, there are no records of this one. So we don't know exactly what was seen here on Earth. And of course, 15,000 years ago, we don't have complete sets of records going back to explain exactly what has been seen. Other supernovae, we do have some have found some records that they were noted in the sky. Now this we're looking at just a portion of that since the entire nebula is hard to see and so large. This is the western part of the Veil vale Nebula and this is the remnants of that star expanding out into space as they've been doing for the last 15,000 years. Now we see a lot of the gaseous material that was once part of the star and is now being recycled back out into the interstellar medium. And as it does this, it will eventually become a part of that material and will then form new stars. So not immediately, but eventually this material becomes incorporated with the other dust and gas between the stars and becomes incorporated in parts of those clouds and will form new sets of stars from this material. Now that's important because this material has been enriched in heavier elements. To clarify to an astronomer, a heavy element is anything other than hydrogen or helium. So things like oxygen and carbon and things that are essential for life are can be expelled out into the universe during explosions of massive stars. And that can then help form the seed material for future generations of stars, which are now enriched in this material and allow stars like our sun to form with planets like Earth. So very early generations of stars would not have had this the very first stars to form would have been only from hydrogen and helium and might have formed a Jupiter like planet but would not have been able to form something like Earth because the elements that make up Earth did not really exist at that point. Now there's another there also are a uh, separate nebulae within this that are part of this and one of the prominent ones toward the top is what is known as the Witch's Broom Nebula. And we see that near that what apparently bright star, which is actually just a foreground star in the constellation of Cygnus and not associated with the Veil vale Nebula at all. But you can kind of see the shape of a broom there with the handle pointing down toward the lower left and then spreading out as it goes toward the upper right. So you can maybe imagine that as looking something like a witch's broom. So that was our picture of the day for October 18th of 2023. It was titled Dust and the Western Veil vale Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.